Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Now in this lesson, we are going to learn about combination of errors. First, let us look at addition or subtraction. Addition or subtraction. How to handle errors in addition or subtraction. Important thing to remember is that errors are always added. Errors are never subtracted. Right? If you do two mistakes, the mistakes will always add up. They will not cancel out. Right? That's the logic. Suppose one measurement is 5 plus minus 0.1. Another measurement is 2 plus minus 0.2. If you add up, what will you get? 5 plus 2, 7, and the errors also will get added, 0 0.3. That's easy, right? Very easy. Simple. What will be the difference? What is the difference of these two measurements? So, you'll do 5 minus 2, 3. Plus minus how much? Even when you're subtracting these measurements, the errors will still get added and the error will be 0.3. So remember that errors are always added. Errors are never subtracted. You can add or subtract the measurements, but these errors will always get added. Very, very important. Right? Simple. What about multiplication and division? Right. So what will now happen to errors? Here, whether you are multiplying or dividing, fractional errors are added. That is important. Here, fractional errors are added. Or you can say percentage error because fractional errors into 100 will give us Percentage errors. So, fractional errors are added. Not absolute errors. Suppose this is A. This is B. Now, to multiply them. So, first we will multiply them without errors. A into B is 5. A is 5. And B is 2. So, 10. This is without errors. I am not bothered about errors right now. So, this is the value of AB without errors. This is the short form of writing without, right? I use that. Now, what will be the error in this AB? This will be 10 plus minus what? For that, we add the fractional errors. Suppose this is Z. So, error in Z by Z will be error in A by A plus error in B by B. Fractional errors are getting added. What is error in A? Error in A is 0.1. This is out of 5. Right? A is 5. And error in B is 0.2. And this is 2. Now you can simplify this. This will give you 10. You will get 0.2 here. Plus you will get 5 into 0.2 that is 1. So 1.2 by 10 that's 0.12. Is that correct? Yes. So we got 0.12 as a fraction error in Z. So what will be error in Z? Error in Z will be 0.12 into Z. 0.12 Z is 10. So again we get 1.2. If you want we can round it off to zero decimal places or you can leave 1.2. So now Z becomes that is AB. Right? This is 10 plus minus 1.2. 
So remember, here fractional errors are added, not absolute errors. So here it was 0 0.1 in 5, so 0 0.1 by 5, 0 0.2 in 2, so 0 0.2 by 2. This is 10, right? This is 0.2 by 2 will be how much? 0 0.1 and this is 0 0.02, so you get 0 0.12. So we get delta Z by Z as 0 0.12, so delta Z is 1.2, right? So Z becomes 10 plus minus 1.2. So in multiplication or division, fractional errors are added. In addition or subtraction, absolute errors are added. Right. Now what about the errors in power? Errors in power. Suppose some Z is a to the power m, b to the power n by c to the power p. I am not adding o here, why? That looks like 0, right? So, we avoid o. So, z is a to the power m, b to the power n by c to the power p. So, here again you have to look at fractional errors, but the power will become coefficient. So, here the power is m, so m, delta a by a, then plus n delta b by b plus p delta c by c. So this is how we handle errors in power. The power becomes the coefficient. Please understand also that these errors are typically small. Then you can do all these things, right? So m becomes the coefficient here, n becomes the coefficient here and p becomes the coefficient here. So this is how we handle errors in power. Errors are always added, never subtracted. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.